Hot and humid weather will soon head for mid-Missouri, and some folks are going to need some help beating the heat. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Reek. And I'm Shilmeen. Thanks for joining us. Health officials in Columbia are stepping up to do something about that sweltering heat. Kim U8's Amanda Amanda Labro is in the studio to share details. People in St. Peter's, Missouri are cleaning up today after severe weather Saturday damaged homes and businesses. You can see the aftermath of the storm here. Wind blew off most of the roof of this local club fitness. County officials say there were reports of trees on houses, downed power lines, and roof damage. County authorities say there were no injuries from the storm and most of the damage is superficial. Well, it might seem like everywhere you look in mid-Missouri, there's construction. And it's not quite over because of several projects starting tomorrow. A bridge rep replacement will begin in Maurice County. The work will start over Peavine Creek. MoDOT engineer Dennis Krenning says while the project will require closing Route C at the bridge, we'll do everything we can to minimize the closure. The bridge is scheduled to reopen on August 1st. And it doesn't stop there. East Ash Street between St. James Street and College Avenue will shut down. This comes before workers start to install a 54-inch drain system. Public Works encourages drivers and pedestrians to be careful around the area. The work is to set to begin at 7 a.m. and by end by July 7th. Missouri Central Area Special Olympics gathered in Columbia today to celebrate this year's state participants in 2014. Team Missouri will send more than 120 athletes and coaches to New Jersey next week for the national competition. The athletes will compete in a variety of 21 Olympic sports. Program Director Diane Brimmer says the athletes take the game just as seriously as any other athlete. If you tried to drive through downtown today, you might have noticed some different cars traveling down Broadway. The 2014 Mid-Missouri Soak Box Derby was held downtown today. 43 young drivers from the area came out to race. Today's winners will advance to Akron, Ohio, where they will compete against other racers from around the world. FBI investigation into illegal gambling in Joplin revealed a large vice operation involving influential people in the area. The Joplin Globe newspaper sent a freedom of information request back in 2012 to find out details about the firing of a Joplin police officer and the indictment of three bookkeepers. Over 600 pages of FBI documents reveal how the gambling investigation grew into a probe of drug trafficking, and prostitution, and public corruption. Both Republicans and Democrats are criticizing the, the Obama administration, insisting they should have been included in the process of the Bergdahl deal. Well, rain was either a hit or miss for us today this past weekend. Let's check in with Tim Schmidt for a look at what's in store for us this week. Guys, when things revisit from our past. Next, the story how a mom got an unexpected gift she'll cherish forever. I'm the driver. And in your world news, an unknown gunman attacked a NATO truck in, north, in so southwestern Pakistan today. Local media reported the gunman opened fire on the supply truck headed for NATO troops in Afghanistan, causing it to burst into flames. No one has claimed responsibility for the attack, but Taliban militants have attacked supply trucks in the past. And over to Karachi, Pakistan, the international airport is under siege right now by heavily armed militants. Security forces have been dispatched, and a gunfight has left at least four military personnel and one militant dead. Sources say the militant entered a cargo and VIP area a little more than four hours ago. The airport and nearby hotels are in complete lockdown. No flights are taking off. Anti-monarchists took the streets of Madrid today. The march was the latest in a series of demonstrations sparked by this week's decision by King Juan Carlos' decision to abdicate, paving the way for the next generation of Spanish royalty. The protesters are calling for a referendum on the monarchy and the return of Spain to a republic. Tune in to watch this great CW show on Mid-Missouri CW. Well, if you want to escape the heat here in Missouri, you can take this virtual trip to the Arctic. Biologists with the U.S. Geological Survey put collar cams on the necks of four polar bears in Alaska. The cameras were on the bears for about 10 days and captured everything from their point of view. Scientists want to learn how the bears are impacted by sea ice conditions and understand the potential effects of the changing climate.